what is God saying for us in this country at this time? What are those things that must be assigned? Let me just tell you as God reflected this to me. Number one, on the issue of morality. The day you will hear that a government minister has been arrested for corruption, you know that we're getting closer to an ultimate Kronos moment. Proverbs 14, 34, righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Confusing. The second one, on leadership. The day you will hear his excellence, the president of Zimbabwe, the commander-in-chief uh, of the defense forces uh, and the head of state, saying that uh, a statement is being made for a successor, you must know that we are nearing a major Kairos moment. Now the days of David drew near. This is 1, K 1 Kings 2, 1 to 2. Drew near that, this, this, that, drew near that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, Go the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and prove yourself a man. That's on political leadership. On church leadership. This is on leadership. But on church leaders, the day you will hear that one of the church leaders has been arrested for standing for justice and righteousness, you must know that we're getting closer. There is a lot of injustice and unrighteous behavior that we as the body of Christ cover and protect and tolerate, which has become an abomination to God. But the day you will also realize that, hey, this one, has been taken in for questioning. And the questioning isn't because they stole money. Like all the no noises about the church leaders you hear, it's about money, it's about women, it's, you know, in the wrong places. We should be now waiting for that event when one of us is arrested for standing for righteousness and judge justice in this nation. And you know, we are now on the right track. Matthew 14, 3 to 5, and Herod had laid hold of John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had said to him, it is not lawful for you to have her. And although he wanted to put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him as a prophet. They didn't count him that he was just being abusive, he was illegal. They counted him as a prophet. Leadership. The third one is on the economy. When you have an announcement by the Reserve Bank, that we are now returning to the Zimbabwean currency. Every nation must have its own currency. The situation we have is a stopgap measure, very necessary for now. But for our ultimate emancipation, economic development, and growth, we will have to get to the point where we have our own currency. Yes. Yes. This is not the message you're waiting for. But I'm telling you what is going to have to happen for you to understand this. And I'm glad that this is going to be shared to the nation. Not because you're being forced. Because you willingly know that this is the right thing you must do. You embrace it and you know that it's clearly backed up with reserves. It's not just some money printing or not printing machine that has been introduced. It is done with the right things. I'm telling you things that the Lord spoke to me about. So when you hear... And when you begin to see, or when there is an announcement that says, we will be returning to the Zim dollar in this way, you must jump with joy. I am not talking about where it's being forced upon you. I'm talking about when you know that this is what I want as well. Isaiah 6, 1 to, um, 6, 61, verse 4 to 5, And they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the ruined cities. And the, the desolations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of the foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. That, is number, that was number three. Number four. I'm talking about signs here. On the land. The day that government will produce a land audit and begins implementing the recommendations, we are done. We are back to breadbasket nation. We are back to breadbasket. That day, when our government says, we've done the land audit, we are now implementing the recommendations of this land audit. You know we are hitting that Kairos moment. And prepare yourself for a mighty event. 
that will come in. It will be declared jubilee. When you start seeing our sons and daughters coming back to Zimbabwe, willingly excited and in their numbers, not one by one, I'm just going to check whether this is, no. People just picking their bags without even coming to, uh, we are going back home. When you start seeing that, please, those who have remained, please, up your game. Because you're going to be left behind. Up your game. Psalm 126, and I will end here. We were like those who dream. When our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing, then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord. As the streams in the south, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him.